You know, Duke Energy estimated some 750,000 customers could lose power here in the Carolinas before the storm moves out, and they are not taking any chances. What you're seeing here, this video, this is actually over at Charlotte Motor Speedway where Duke trucks are staged and ready to roll out at a moment's notice. They've been bringing in folks from all across the country getting ready for something like this. Joining us now on the phone from Duke Energy is uh, Logan Kreska. L Logan, I, I know we're just a couple of hours into this at, so, at this point, but is this starting to unfold the way you all had anticipated it? Good morning, good morning. Yes, it is. And, and honestly, you know, we, we have a Duke Energy team of meteorologists, just like you guys have meteorologists. So they're continuing to monitor the storm's development um, just, just the way you are, making preparations to safely handle these weather-related service interruptions and outages that we do expect to happen today and possibly even into tomorrow. So as we stand right now at, at, at 621, um, do, do, have you heard of any substantial outages yet so far? There are not yet any substantial outages, and, and I do want to let your viewers know if they can actually get updates on the outages, we have an outage section on our website. If they go to duke-energy.com slash outages, you can see those in real time. To my knowledge, they don't, but I think what's important to remember is what type of precipitation we actually get. So up in some of those higher elevations like Asheville, of course, they're going to see more of the snow, whereas here in the greater Charlotte area, maybe into the triad, we're probably going to get more of that wintry mix, so like the ice and the freezing precipitation. It only takes about six um, inches of heavy, wet snow to bring down the, the branches and the trees and limbs, which is what takes out a power line. But with ice, you're talking about only a quarter of an inch. So it's when we see that, you know, that more of that freezing precipitation, that ice, that's when we tend to see more outages. Yeah, it, it only takes a very little bit of ice to cause a, a lot of substantial, substantial damage. Uh, Logan, what's your word of advice to folks sitting at home, enjoying their coffee right now on a Sunday morning, watching Wake Up Charlotte weekend and, and, and wondering about the day ahead? What's your recommendation for those folks? Sure, you know, we, we do expect it to get a little bit worse before it gets better. We do, as you mentioned, have, you know, cruise states. We brought them in from, from multiple states, cruise, you know, outside of this area. So, you know, travel conditions are going to be hazardous after, even after the storm passes. So as soon as our crews can get out and safely assess what's going on, they will do so. Just keep in mind that can take up to 24 hours. Once they've done that, they'll assess what types of crews and equipment need to go to which areas, and they'll dispatch those crews immediately as safely as we can. So please just bear with us. We're, you know, we're moving as quickly and as safely as we can. Please try to stay inside your home. If you do see a downed power line, a sagging power line, assume that it has electricity. Never touch it. Keep your kids and your children away from it. And we know that you all have brought in folks from all across the country to help with this effort. Uh, Logan Kreska, listen, I, we, we know you guys are, have a busy day ahead of you, uh, and we know it's an important work you do, and, and we hope all your crews out there in linemen really stay safe on, on a day like this as you try to keep power on for all of us.